Hey everybody, Daphne from Staff Hunts Gamers, and we're back to another video. This video is going to be a continue of the last video, Web Biotech. Um, I decided to split this up into two videos because that previous video was already an hour long, and I didn't want to add anything more to it. But uh, what you're about to see is the call that I placed trying to get in contact with a supervisor. Um, you'll see how rude they were, uh, they constantly hanging up, um, over all three numbers I tried calling, they would just, uh, pick up and hang up, um, a company that is doing something like that should not be trusted, uh, they knew what they're, they know what they're doing, and, uh, they're very suspicious, and, uh, you'll see she demands for me to give, <coughs> excuse me, she demands that I give her a reason to speak to the supervisor, and, uh, any company should not be demanding a reason. Uh, if a customer wants to speak to a supervisor, you should transfer them to the supervisor without hesitation. Um, but anyway, um, here's that, and, uh, yeah. That's what I thought. Make a scammer run and hide. They have no problem trying to steal almost a thousand dollars from me, but then when they're confronted about the fact, they just run away. Thanks for your call. My name is Kathy. How may I help you today? Yeah, can I speak to the manager, please? Sorry? Can I speak to the supervisor of the floor, please? Yeah, you need to get a better dial-up service. Can I speak to the uh, supervisor, please? Okay, um, can you provide me the name or the extension number of the supervisor? <laughs> His name is not supervisor. I'd like to speak to your supervisor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a check. I'm going to transfer your call to the supervisor. Okay. Yes, <laughs> that was that one like a beginning of it. Hello? Thanks for staying online. I just want to ask why, what is it concerning about? Why you want to talk to the supervisor? Um, well, just transfer me to him and I'll find out. Sorry? Can you just transfer me to him, please? Yes, I will transfer a call, but I have to tell the reason to the supervisor. Because uh, the customer wants to talk to him? That's the reason why. That should be enough of a reason. Because a customer wants to talk to him, that's that's enough of a reason why. But what is it concerning about? About what you want to talk with the supervisor? Why are you being all sketchy? You, should, you shouldn't be sitting here antagonizing me about why I want to talk to your supervisor. You should just transfer me to your supervisor. Okay, so stay connected. Can I put your call on hold so I can assign this line to the supervisor? Yeah, it's, you're paying for the call, not me. <laughs> Look at that.
Post that in scammer.info. I can call a pop up. I might get another company if I call a pop up though. I make this section a little bit of a second video. Just to show everybody, I've been calling their phone number, asking for the supervisor, and they hang up on me. See? And if we call the other number the guy gave me, uh, that he was calling from earlier. Same company, of course. <laughs> they just hang up. So, because of that, <laughs> <laughs> so this makes their life a little bit hell. So, this is one reason why, just the way the scammer hung up really quickly when I said that he was scamming people the way he hung up really quickly and the way he disconnected really quickly like no confrontation didn't want to talk about anything and how this company they're very suspicious about me asking for a supervisor wanted, wanted me to give a specific reason and then just hanging up on me like that definitely a company that should not be trusted I want to speak to the supervisor. You're, you've been recorded every time you've hung up on me. That's a bad reputation for your company. Because let me tell you something. I'm going to upload this scam, this company scam, to my website. And people are going to see it. And each time you've hung up on me, it's been recorded. If you 
want to talk with the supervisor, you have to tell me the reason. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. If I want to talk to the supervisor, okay, so I'm going to talk to the supervisor. Again. I don't have to give you a reason. Oh, that's what I thought. Hi, right, can I return sir to Jerry at extension two three four seven? Jerry? Yes. Just a moment. Can you give me your customer order ID number? I don't have one at the minute. Just can I do you have your customer ID number? I don't have one. You don't have one? No. Your phone number? Sure, can, can you transfer me to him, please? Yeah, I can, but I uh, need to know the reason behind that. We got What's disconnected. Got disconnected, okay. So, can you give me two minutes to let me connect, okay? Alright. Hi, Jerry. Uh, not Jerry. I believe Jerry is left for the day. I have contacted his extension, so it's not picking the phone. And I believe I've checked. Uh, he left for the day. Okay. Give me the message. Um, yeah. Um, do you have like a floor manager I can talk to or something? Okay, can I transfer it to him, please? You want to speak to him, Jerry? No, the, the, whoever the floor manager is. What is your concern? I will be able to help you with that. Whatever will be the concern. Are you the manager? Yeah. Oh, blue, blue, okay. I was just curious. I will be able to help you. Um. If you if you have any acknowledgement that somebody in your call center is performing a scam. Yeah. Okay. I was just curious. Who if no, nobody called me. I uh, called your guys' uh, fake web pop up that said you were Microsoft. Okay. And uh, I just want to okay. forewarn you. I just want to forewarn you. This call is being recorded. Yeah. And. 
I'm about ready to post a video about your company um, and the scam that you performed to me on Monday uh, the 15th. I'm going to be contacting uh, Bandwidth Communications, the toll-free number provider, and I'm going to get this number disconnected along with your other three numbers. So I just want to get you forewarned about that. Okay. And also you finally compliant with the FTC, so I just figured, you know, you might want to yeah. know that. You can you can do whatever you want, okay? I've also got the voicemail yeah, still yeah. that uh, you, you, yeah, you are, left on my machine where you com. said that you, you called me Marichote on the voicemail. I have that recorded too and that will be uploaded. So And also I have the recording of, uh, I've asked for the supervisor and you guys constantly kept hanging up. I have that recorded. So don't worry, I've got plenty of evidence against you. Yeah, we are uh, a certified company. Yeah, save it, save it. You're a certified yeah. company, whatever yeah. bullshit. Yeah, I've, I've heard it many yeah. times before. I, I don't believe it. You're lying, scammers. You're taking people's yeah. money. I, I don't. I have the video. I'll prove it. I don't, I don't need to hear anything from you. I'm just forewarning you. So. Okay. Uh, so what? That was it. I just wanted to forewarn you. See if you had any comment. If you knew somebody was scamming in your call center. You're scamming? I'm asking. I believe you're scamming. See, this is, this is what, keep in mind what everything you're saying is being recorded right now. Yeah. And it will so be used you against you. Else? Do you have anything else to say? Yeah, I want, I want a comment from you as to why you're scamming people. Okay. So what? So, you don't, you don't, you don't mind scamming people? No. You don't? Yeah. Your family like you scamming people? They do? Yeah. Your mom's proud of you that you scam people, you wake up every morning, you steal people's money? Yeah. yeah. Well, who told you that we were scamming? Who told you? Nobody told me. Like, I have the video evidence, like I said, no, three times. No, no, no. no. You don't you're, believe you're me? You're mistaken. You're mistaken. No, I'm not mistaken. Man. Yeah, you are. Well, I'm not going to go through this with you because I've talked to scammers like you in the past and you all say the same thing that I'm mistaken and yada 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 and this and that, which I'm not because I've been doing this for an entire yeah. year now. So I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> but if you don't have any legitimate comment, then I'm going to disconnect this call because I don't have time to waste on people like you. You irritate me, you're scums of the earth, you steal people's money. Um, no, and that's you're really all there is to it, you know? Have you, have, have you scammed you? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you tried to scam me out of $999 for services that I don't Nine, need and problems I didn't have. $999. Yeah, $999. Almost $1,000. When? when? Monday, May 15th. Okay. No, we have not made any call to you. Monday? Uh, no, you didn't. I, like I said this already, I did not say that you called us. I said I called you on your fake pop-up that said you were Microsoft and that my computer was infected. Just because you didn't call me does not make it not a scam. That's not how this works. Yeah, your fake pop-up that said that uh, my computer was infected with the virus and that my details are being stolen. But I'm not going to go through this with you. You're acting dumb and there's no point in this conversation. If you do not have a legitimate reason or comment against or to to try to redeem yourself, then I'm not going to continue this call because Obviously, you have no issue scamming people, and I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't understand them, how you can even do that. But hopefully, someday you you change your life choices, maybe, and you know, find a better job. But you know, that's India. Um, I don't know who you are and what you're talking about. It doesn't doesn't sound good. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Speaking of which, I have your IP address as well. You're, you're trying to threaten me? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. So I'm what you will be doing with that, with that IP address? What, what, you, what you can do? I'm going to post it publicly so people can DDoS it and things, and I'm also going to be reporting it to the FTC. It's 182.74.195.10. Uh, how, how, how did you get our IP address? How did I get it? It's none of your business. No, it isn't. You can't tell me how, why yeah. you like scamming people, and I'm not going to tell you how I got it. Oh. Okay, you have my right IP address. You can do whatever you feel like that you, you can. Don't worry, okay. I will. With the IP address, whatever you could. Don't worry, I will. Okay. Do you want me to tell uh, you? Uh, yeah, I respect you that you're a genius. 
You got the right IP. Yep. You're a genius, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're a genius in another way. Alright, let's see. Hold on a second. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. You're sitting somewhere in India right now. Your ISP is Baratelli Broadband. So I'll be contacting them to make sure uh, try to get your ISP disconnected as well. And I'll also be contacting go to assist. So you've got quite a bit of shit coming your way. I hope you know that. And you've got an FTC complaint that I'm going to be submitting here pretty soon. So. Yeah. Uh, well, so what? So what? Yeah. So what? That's right. So what? Uh, you, do you have anything else to say? No, I, I, the only reason I really called you is to warn you of all this and to uh, see if you had any other comments, uh, but you, you obviously don't. No, no, you, you, you can do whatever you feel like that, whatever you feel good about. I will, don't worry. Uh, I don't need your permission. Do, yeah, we're doing business, so... Well, keep in mind we that when people yeah, search your company now, they're going to find my video first before they find your website. Just keep that in mind. It's gonna say tech sports game right right next to it. I'm uploading a video with your company name in it that shows exactly how you scam people. So when people search your company, they're gonna find that video. And uh, your IP address, which will be posted publicly, your phone numbers, you're gonna get harassed to death. But I'm not continuing this conversation anymore because obviously, like I said, you don't seem to have any legitimate comments against this or to try to disprove yourself or to clear up the situation. So I'm gonna disconnect the call now. Hopefully you change your life choices. Goodbye.